why did I sign up for the, the Great Muller Rally? Pretty simple. Everything Johnny and Robert do um, is something unique and epic. And uh, I wish I would have done it like years before. I'm uh, on the ride with my brother Mark and a friend of ours, uh, also called Mark. Uh, when we first heard about it, we thought this would be a laugh, um, but it's a bit more than that. I read about it on the internet. I checked him at a uh, website, and you know, I found the reports of the previous release and the video so so intriguing that I thought I needed to do that. And then I asked Frank if he would like to join me. And uh, after some glasses of wine, I said, "Make it bottles of wine." Uh, um, yeah, sounds good. I gotta do it. So we signed up right there <laughs> at midnight. Uh, Tim really sadly is leaving the UK at the end of the year. Uh, we've all got a love of motorcycles as well. A great deep passion for riding motorcycles and the freedom that it brings. And Tim wanted to uh, ride the length of the UK. And uh, we all signed up and, and, and that was that. And we found ourselves down on the south coast. Uh, it's only the third week that I've been riding full stop, so I passed my test three weeks ago. Um, the intent was to do this with my, uh, my family, my dad and my brother, unfortunately they couldn't make it. Um, so it'll be just me doing it solo uh, this time, but quite a big challenge for me. My fourth week of riding past my test. How are you feeling? I'm a bit apprehensive about getting out of the car park, but after that, all will be good. Everyone's eager to go. I'm eager to go. And I think the uh, first teams are about to set off. I've got a Cornish pasty in my bag. Any, so, um, any nerves? Any nerves? Well, I've got quite short legs and I'm riding a bike far too tall for me. <laughs> that always makes things interesting. But other than that, no, I'm just eager to get going and um, hopefully there's no uh, bikes with troubles along the route, but we're here to help if there are and yeah, just have a fun day. Slightly different route this year, so that's good. But I took a break last year, so it's just nice to be back. Gentlemen, Jordan, Sorry. good morning. Welcome to the southern tip of mainland Britain. Breathe in the southern air. In 1,511 miles, you'll be staring across a similar view with the lighthouse into the North Sea, with the Scottish Islands ahead of you. Have a wonderful day's ride. We will start with uh, bringing out the first team. Then every two to three minutes, we'll give you your time, then you're ready to go. So please come to the Land Rover with your logbooks. We'll stamp you out for your allotted time, and at that, that time, Craig will be waving you out with a flag at the top here. I think aside from that, having a wonderful ride. Welcome to the Great Mallee Rally 2020. Enjoy the adventure!
amazing moments where you're connected with your machine and with your the people that you're riding with, new friends and old. And about halfway through, you find this rhythm. And you start riding together at the same speeds and understanding each other and kind of being able to predict what the other person's going to do. You become this tight little pack and you ride together as like one unit. It's, it's awesome to look at the back and watch them like and watching, the first yeah. day. Like you sit at the back and just watch and you see the lines that everyone picks and you can follow. It's really nice yeah. to see that flow with the group. Yeah. You got into a rhythm, I guess like all friends do. You know, start, get lost, repeat and get it. Yeah, I have the double amount of uh, uh, fuel stops. And you know, we weren't going really fast. We weren't going. We were going scooter fast. I didn't know that I would be the the first one ever done it on a scooter. And to, to me, I didn't think that is a big deal. I've been with this scooter. I own it since I'm 18. So. Uh, which is uh, two years ago. <laughs> uh, I've been everywhere with that. It's nothing I so couldn't, he... couldn't uh, imagine to do. A little winding road and the stone walls either side, you, you know, flying through there is wonderful. You get to that point in the rally where you just, you're just really one with the machine. You're not thinking about gear change, you're not thinking about braking. You're just, you know, you're just tucking into corners. And just when we come up to we see Snowden, perfect view of the, of the peak of Snowden and Triffin behind it. And watching the bikes ride like that, it's like watching, you know, it's like watching the geese when they're flying, flying in formation, going down, down through the, through the, the valley. Oh, yesterday I uh, <coughs> a bit short of gossip and. Um, I thought I'd been having some trouble and I thought it was the exhaust gas regulator valve but uh, it turned out to be my cylinder headed uh, gasket had blown. So I uh, had to abandon and uh, got rescued up to here. Teddy's in the, uh, in the front of the van here and uh, unfortunately when he was on the rescue truck I left him on the bike so he could see um, and I stayed dry in the cab and he's at Absolutely soaking wet. Uh, we're trying to pick up uh, some parts for it and uh, bolt it back together uh, this evening. And then on the road tomorrow with a bit of luck. You hammer in through some of these landscapes and they are like not sure. They are epic. It's the only way to describe them. It stirs your soul when you look at some of these places. They're so awe-inspiring and you know you get a you get a feeling, you get a knot hanging off a shit three and a half grand Triumph Bonneville, <laughs> leaning it over way too far, <laughs> hanging off it further than is reasonable or looks good it's joy like it's that's the definition of the word when you it's everything it just it's perfect absolutely perfect Scotland has been so amazing. When we before Apple Cross, it was so dramatic. The wind, the clouds, and the peaks of light hitting the locks. It was it was madness. We were going fast, and it was really extreme. And then we got to Apple Cross and peaked at the top of it, and it, the sky cleared, and it went really still, and it was really peaceful. We all kind of broke apart and did our own thing. 
and and individually had a little bit of a spiritual moment with the machines, I think. Mm. Which was, was and then yeah. and then and then Peter went over the crescent and you saw the sea and it was and it was peaceful and we came down and all met rejoined each other mm -hmm. and had a had a nice hot cup of tea yeah. <laughs> and uh, carried on our way but I have never connected with a, 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 an inanimate object like that before The first few days we spent in England were amazing. And he kept saying, Niels, just wait till you hit Scotland. He was right, like, as soon as we hit Scotland, I was just, it was mind blowing. Like, this is like the coolest country I've ever seen, I've traveled on my bike. I mean, I kept saying before, like, India is like the coolest place to ride a motorcycle. Um, I might have to change my mind. I think Scotland is like the place. It's, very, very unique place. People who ride motorcycles have always had this propensity towards freedom and it's being free, being released from everything and when you have all of these people around you and this flowing landscape and this amazing weather which has been so dynamic, it's changed, it's been sunny, it's been beautiful, it's been hammering it down with rain like and we've been hunkered down <laughs> in our wets, visor down freezing cold in this tight little pack yeah, together. weaving through and you are you're together but you're fucking free man <laughs> We always thought we would finish it, but to actually do it, it's quite emotional, you know. Um, yeah, good moment, great moment. I felt like I invented something. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yes, I really, I really achieved something. You know, that felt, you know, top of the world. We've done a big thing, like, and it's, you know, there's a lot of adventure and a lot of spirit, the real spirit of adventure in what we were doing. But then there's a, the disappointment and the sadness that it's ended. Just ride my bike, enjoy the time with awesome dudes, with awesome organisers and just ride from the tail of the country to the tip of the country. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That moment was pretty sad because I knew this is over, you know. And as soon as I can sign up for the next rally, I will sign up and probably do this rally till I can write no more.